Hey everyone, I'm Christine Holly, your host for First Look Features, and I'm at the Grauman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood for the premiere of Hitchcock, and it's also opening night for the AFI Fest. Can't wait to see who shows up, so I'll see you soon. Yeah, my name is Jeff Cronoweth. I was a cinematographer on Hitchcock. And so, what did you have to watch a lot of Hitchcock films to figure out, you know, what theme you wanted to choose for this? Well, I don't think you have to watch, you're, I don't think you're ever motivated to watch Hitchcock movies. I think you want to watch them because they're so well made. And uh, I had actually seen almost every Hitchcock film prior to this, but it had the good fortune of revisiting a few, you know, before production started, especially Psycho. It had been a number of years since I'd seen it. It's Alan Barnett. And you're one of the producers on this film. That's right. <laughs> so what about the script that made you want to work on this movie? Well, you know, I had always had a fascination with Hitchcock. I, um, Produced what first thing I ever produced was the relaunch of Alfred Hitchcock Presents for NBC back in the mid 80s. And um, I stumbled across uh, Stephen Brello's book, Hitchcock and the Making of Psycho. And um, bam, next thing you know, we uh, set it up and we're off and running nine years ago. And how does that feel? It feels um, weird in that, that I, I always knew it was going to be a movie. Um, even when, you know, we were going between studios and the script was, uh, you know, struggling to come to life and become a baby, a full-fledged human being. I never doubted it for a minute, though, that I'd be talking with someone as nice as you, we'd be at a movie theater. I always had the faith that this was going to be made, and because, I, be, because it's a story about human emotions, it's not, if you're not interested in movies or movie making, they're is still at the heart of it. This is a this is a romance. This is a, a story of a of a, a very unusual relationship of, of two people who are pretty improbable. You know, they were lucky to find each other. So it, it feels um, inevitable, and it feels like I'm very grateful to be here. Yeah. Hi, I'm Ivan Reitman. I produced this movie. Yeah, and you pr produce a lot of epic films. What made you choose to produce this movie? There was a rough script that um, we were brought that I just fell in love with. I said, well, this is a great moving story, not about only about a great director who's making one of his most iconic movies, but a great relationship story between he and his wife, Alma, who was his partner for 60 years, and the complex relationship between them. You know, um, there's not too many movies made about married relationships of a long of a long period. This is a movie for primarily for adults, but it's very funny. I think it's going to be one of those films that starts with adults and then sort of spreads out from there. Kurt Wood Smith. <laughs> and tell me about the character that you played in this movie. I played Jeffrey Sherlock, who is the censor. That's all right. Uh, for lack of a better word, he was the head of the uh, the Hayes office, which is the organization that um, um, you know. Um, Police the film uh, more or less in terms of uh, uh, films in general, in terms of uh, uh, you know language and uh, violence. And, and, uh, My name's Richard Portnow. And tell me about the character that you played in this film. Okay, I played Barney Balaban, the president and CEO of Paramount when Psycho was being made. Um, very tough customer, hard-nosed guy, imperious. Uh, he did not like Psycho. He didn't want to make it. And he didn't make it. I forced Hitchcock to finance the movie out of his own pocket. I wouldn't produce it. I thought it was perverse. Barney Balaban wanted to sell morality to America. And uh, we had an adversarial relationship, Hitchcock and I. Hi, SBTN TV. I'm James Darcy. I hope you're having a good day. Tell me about the character that you played in this movie. Uh, I play Anthony Perkins, who was the actor who played Norman Bates in Psycho. And how does it feel to be in this movie? It feels great. You know, it was really good fun. It's an incredible cast. Our director, Sasha, is just wonderful. Uh, so much fun, so much enthusiasm. He's put together such a beautiful film. It's kind of funny and moving and, uh, and exciting. And, you know, it's about the making of this very seminal film. And I think, really, I didn't know anything about the fact that, like, nobody wanted to make Psycho for a start. Nobody wanted to make it. It, the censors nearly didn't let them put it through. So, you know, it's got lots of really fun little tidbits for the, for the psycho lover. 
The world premiere of Hitchcock was so awesome. I can't wait to go in there and watch the movie. I'll see you all next time. This is Christine Hawley for First Look Features.